Alright, what is going on beautiful people? Hope you're having a beautiful day because I am having a beautiful day. What I want to take you guys through today is the best kind of bodybuilding foods that you should be eating to make the most gains that you possibly can. The reason for this video is I get a lot of questions on a daily basis about what my diet looks like, what do I eat to get shredded, what kind of foods should I be eating in regards to building a nice physique, getting a better body, all that kind of stuff. So I want to take you guys through exactly the foods that you should be eating to maximize progress, maximize gains. Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into that. Basically, I'm just gonna list just about every single carbohydrate, protein, and fat that I would consume on a daily basis. You know, what sources are my nutrients coming from? All right, so we've got the carbs, proteins, and fats. No macronutrient is more important than the other. They all play a part in creating an overall balanced, healthy diet. Obviously, protein is the building blocks of muscle, but that doesn't mean any more important then getting in your carbs and your fats. If you don't have those two and you're just eating that, you're not gonna make too much progress. First, the carbohydrates. Firstly, what we have is the potato, right? The potato, right? You can have sweet potato or you can have regular potato, whatever you prefer. I really, really enjoy sweet potato and that's why I have a sweet potato. But if you prefer to have white potato, have white potato. Number two, we have <laughs> rice. What else? Rice. It is the absolute staple for a bodybuilder's diet. My personal favorite is basmati rice, but you can use white rice, you can use brown rice, whatever kind of rice. The differences between the two are that little that it's more about your personal preference. Like, do you more enjoy eating white rice? Are you gonna, you know, Look forward to a white rice meal instead of a brown rice meal. Have white rice, there's so little difference. Next is cereal. Cereal is something that I have for post-workout. I have Rice Krispies or I have something like Cheerios. I pick a cereal that's low in sugar and very low in fat. We don't want any fat coming from the cereal. So stay away from like granola, muesli, that's very dense in fat. That kind of stuff. Granola, people think it's like a magic health food. It has so many calories per cup. I'm gonna list how many calories per serve it has right here, as opposed to rice bubbles, which is. So a huge difference between the two. So I go with something like rice bubbles. Number three is oats. This is by far my personal favorite carbohydrate source. It's so slow digesting, comes with a ton of good vitamins and minerals such as iron as well, packs a ton of dietary fiber. So you're gonna get that in there as well. And it's very slow digesting. I feel like oats fill me up more than any other food than I, that I could possibly eat. And as well, you can eat it dry. You can have it in a shake. You can have it cooked with blueberries, peanut butter, it tastes amazing. So number three would be oats. Number four is your fruits. So fruits are just all around good. If anyone tells you fruits aren't good for you, man, don't eat fruits. Like who the, why? The fruits are so good for you. There's, there's no case against fruits. The only problem with fruits is if you're trying to get extremely aesthetic, cut down and shredded as then they might impact how your body's gonna look overall. I'd stay away from very carb dense fruits, pineapple, watermelon, that kind of stuff. They're, they're a lot higher in sugar. Stick to things more like a banana, apple, berries. Berries are a great one. They pack a lot of antioxidants as well as have a, a magnificent profile for nutrients. Number five is bread. That's like the only other cup that I really eat is maybe a piece of bread. You know, I don't, you know, bread's not bad. People have a stigma around bread that it's really bad. You know, oh, stay away from bread, carbs are the devil, that kind of thing. But bread is pretty good. Depending, you know, stay away from white refined bread and head for the more multi-grain type bread. This isn't because of the GI profile, the glycemic index, but more so the nutrient profile of multi-grain bread. You're getting seeds, you're getting a lot better quality food than just white refined bread. So do that. Don't have a lot of bread though. I wouldn't recommend that. The gluten in it might upset your stomach. You want to get as many different carb sources as possible. You know, this for me, this works perfectly. These are the, like the five carbs that I stick with. And obviously the last kind of carb source, which you could include as a carb is vegetables, broccoli, asparagus, that kind of stuff. So that plays its role as well. Although there aren't very many carbs in there. It's more for the nutrient profile. Veggies. Pretty much eat your freaking veggies, mate. Do you guys in um, uh, America, you United States residents that are watching this, do you guys call it veggies? Because we call it like veggies, like very, very bogany as well. Like veg eat your veggies. Onto the building blocks of muscle, the proteins. So I'm going to list all the proteins that would be considered good for bodybuilding. All right, so the proteins on the top of the food chain gonna have to be chicken breast. Chicken 
breast. The profile of chicken breast, it's like 99% protein. Chicken breast is just a perfect source of protein. Just behind that would be eggs and egg whites. Eggs, they obviously pack a lot of fat within them. I think per two eggs, you get around 10 grams of fat. So if you are counting your macros, you might not want to have too many eggs. Obviously, you're going to get in too much fat too quickly. So what you want to do is maybe have an omelet, have like one or two eggs, and then like a cup of egg whites. That's where your protein is going to come in. Because the egg whites don't have fat in them, it's just the yolks. Next is lean beef. Beef usually is pretty fat dense, but obviously you can get like mince that is very, very lean, 97.3 or something, 97% protein, 3% fat. Fish, salmon, tilapia, tuna, all that kind of stuff. Hit that up. Fish is pretty damn good, you know, just, just try and get the good quality stuff. Next is protein powder. Protein powder, it's not some magic supplement. All it is is powdered protein. That's exactly what it is. It's powdered food that is used for convenience. That's it. It's just, if you want to get your protein in some other way and you don't want to eat chicken, you don't want to eat that, have a protein shake. That's how you get your protein in. Tuna comes along with the fish. Steak, some steaks are good. You can get pretty low fat steaks. I wouldn't recommend having a ton of steak because it is much higher in fat than something like chicken breast or egg whites. And the last one is for Aussies only, unfortunately, it is kangaroo. That's just for the Aussies, kangaroo. If you wanna get on that, it is very lean red meat. Now onto the fats. Big misconception, fats do not make you fat. Eating too much of anything makes you fat. So some examples of good healthy fats would be nuts, just about any single nut. Recommend sticking towards something like walnuts, almonds, or peanuts. Alongside that, nut butters. So peanut butter, that's pretty much my main source of fat. I eat that just about every single meal, purely because I just love the taste of it. So nut butters, Coconut oil. Coconut oil is a great source of fat. I prefer it over something like olive oil. So for cooking, you can even use that for cooking if you'd like. Avocado is another great source of fat as well as it has a lot of nutritional properties. Fish oil is another good one. It's gonna help with brain health and joint health. Where you get your fats from also comes from sources such as meats obviously and uh, stuff like oats, right, and cereals. So yeah, your fats come from a bit, a bit of everything. Usually fats are on the lower side of things, so they kind of complement these two. I prefer to prioritize the carbs and the proteins, right? And the fats kind of come later. So when I'm choosing what meals to eat, I always usually go with, I'm gonna pick a carb source, I'm gonna pick a protein, and then I'm gonna pick a fat to complement that. So if I'm gonna have, let's just say rice, I'm gonna have some chicken, and then I'm gonna have a bit of avocado or a bit of coconut oil. That's how I usually pick it. So that's how it goes really. So once you understand what foods you should be eating to make maximal gains, then all you have to do is say, all right, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, what am I gonna have? I'm gonna have a little bit of carbs, a little bit of proteins and a little bit of fats, right? And how much of each comes down to how much you're eating in a day, right? How much your calories should be. If you wanna put on weight, you should be eating more, obviously. If you wanna lose weight, you should be eating less. I have another video about that on how to calculate your calories and macros, which I will link below. So if you are considering doing that and using MyFitnessPal to track your macros, then hit up that. And then all you have to do is come back and have a look at these food sources that I've listed here, then to find out how to make maximal gains. That's about it. So that is really the basics. That's the basics, mate. You just pick, pick good, healthy, clean foods, and then you eat them, <laughs> you eat. And everything, so me personally, everything that I eat comes from here, right? And it's a protein, carb, and fat. Besides my post-workout meal, which is cereal, almond milk, and protein powder. So it's pretty much just carbs and protein. But everything else is carbs, proteins, fats. Another little tip, if you guys are drinking milk, I would recommend cutting that out and going over to something like almond milk. One, it's just gonna be more beneficial for your gut. Two, it has about a fifth of the calories that even skinny milk would have. So give that a go, give that a look. I feel like it tastes a little bit better. It has a little bit more taste to it. Yeah, so that's about it guys. That is literally the wrap up of what I eat in a day. Like it's just this food. Right now, I'm just gonna move out of the way and you guys can screenshot this. All right, good. So yeah, that's about it. Basics, pick a carb, protein, fat to eat for a meal. Uh, do that, do that for a while. And like really, if you do this, if you eat these clean, healthy sources, you will notice results. If you train hard, eat these, 
eat in a caloric surplus if you want to gain mass, and eat in a caloric deficit if you want to lose fat. You will make gains, it's that simple. And if you want to get a grasp or an idea of how to actually construct these meals, I do have a full day of eating, which I will link below. It also includes a little cheat meal. So if you want to get an idea of uh, how, to, how to cheat, you know, not to go too extreme, but you know, find some places that are pretty good, pretty healthy carbs, proteins, and fats. And go check that out. That'll be in the description as well. I'm just gonna wrap the video up here. Hope you enjoyed watching because I enjoyed making it. I will catch you in the next one later. Pussy is pussy, my nigga, it comes and it goes. So focus on getting some money and stop being thirsty and chasing the hoes. She on the pole, but she don't even vote. Damn it, I'm good, like I'm really the pole.